Hey, what's up, Turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today we're going to be taking a look at the GNS from LT Wright Handcrafted Knives. With the sheath, which I will show, it's $155. It's uh, made of 01 tool steel. Overall length is 9.5 inches. Blade length is 4.5 inches. It's 1 8 inch thickness, which is a little over 3 millimeters. There's fisheye bolts in the black micarta handle scales has a sharpened spine, a very nice contoured handle. And the grind on this knife is a Scandi grind, but it's not to zero degrees. There's a hard buff right on the edge, which sort of gives it a micro convex. Here's a close up of the handle now. See really nice contours. Got a little bit of a swell down here. And another angle. All right, enough looking at the knife, let's use it. All right, now I just wanna do some light batoning with this knife. This is tulip poplar wood I'm using, so it's a very soft wood. Nice. Everything is so wet. Let me see you by a show of hands. How many of you live in the eastern U.S. and had some ridiculous, ridiculous thunderstorms this past week or two? I know we have here in Pennsylvania, and this was dead and standing, but completely very, very wet on the outside. But I'll tell this another time or two. Think. Should I try to go through that knot? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's take a look at close up of the edge. Right around here is where that was going through. I mean, baton, usually the knife, or the knife is acting as a wedge, but it's still worth it to keep checking on the edge just to see. And this is really soft wood. Really not worried about any damage just from that little bit of batoning through that knot. All right, let's do some carving. Just trying to find a nice spot right now on this piece of wood that I want <clears throat> to start making some feathers with. That'll do. I'm going to clean off some of this fine inner bark where I want to do some feathering because this is a 90 degree spine. A lot of people want that on their knives and I agree, I think it really is a good feature to have on a knife, but I don't really don't use my knife to strike a ferro rod. I'd rather just use a striker and keep my knife in my sheath if I don't need to use it. I think it's just a safety thing. But you can see, you got a little bit of fine. Could be used for tinder. I can tell this outer wood is wet, just how it's reacting to the edge. This knife came very, very sharp from LT. He sent this knife to us, I'd like to thank him. But this knife came very, very, very sharp, shaving sharp. Getting really fine curls. off me fly. A little bit of high spot right there. Knife kicked up right there. Try to power through it. Just having fun with the knife, getting a real feel for the handle.
So as you can see, it's doing a really fine job feathering. All right, let's get rid of these curls and do some power cuts. Just made a point just in case there's any zombie beavers, zombie beavers hanging around. I do want to talk about the handle though for a second. Okay, so just a quick little conversation about this handle. A lot of people like this handle and I myself, I agree, I really do. But just something I'm noticing and I've noticed before is that you have it, it, it sort of comes up restricted right here. See, it gets thinner up here that comes out to uh, this flare or the shoulder, if you will. And when I grip that, it's a thin point on the handle. So when I like to choke up as much as I can, because I like my hand to be as close to the cutting edge as possible when I'm doing a lot of tasks, is that I almost feel like there's not enough handle there to grab in this particular hammer and I'm doing power cuts. And that's just my preference of having as high as I can on the handle. But with this knife, it's thicker down here. So all I have to do is kind of just push my hand down and there's way more handle and I feel like it fills my hand more and I'm not fatigued to be gripping at this really skinny part. I'm gonna get another piece of wood here because I wanna do some different cuts, stuff I might do if I was making a spoon. This isn't the prettiest piece of wood, but we're just doing this for demonstrative purposes of the wood. Carve out where that bowl is gonna be. How many of you like to practice with your non-dominant hand? I do too. And the safety in using this knife, pulling this blade, this edge to my body is keeping my elbows really tight in to my body. So my range of motion in my arm is the safety pulling a sharp edge towards me. Still my non-dominant hand. I'm definitely not as good with my left as I am with my right, but the more you do it, the more coordination, the more coordination I gain in my non-dominant hand. All right, so here's the basic shape I was going for just with those cuts. You see, starting to take shape of the handle right here, spoon head down here. Really comfortable, really joy to use these Scandi grinds and with this little micro bevel on it too. All right, let's take a look at the sheath now. It's that standard JRE industry sheath that comes with all LT right knives. Or well, not all of them, I should say, but leather sheath, probably about seven to eight ounce leather, removable dangler if you desire. D-ring back here, ferro rod loop, which will accommodate those larger diameter of fire steels. 
And again, just a quality sheath for the price included with the knife. You really can't ask, can't ask for much more than, than this. So to end this video, I just wanted to show a comparison with another popular knife model from LT. This is the Genesis right here that I'm touching. I definitely want to thank LT and everyone at his business that does a great job with designing and producing these affordable knives and really great designs, really nice fit and finish on every knife I've ever seen from him. There are neighbors to the west. They're located down in southeast Ohio. So uh, thanks again, LT, and everyone who's working at his shop. And he has other knife models coming out that are sort in the sort of in the bushcraft line. So I encourage you to definitely go check out his website, check out all the things they're doing down in uh, southeast Ohio. If you have any other questions or anything I didn't cover or any experience with the GNS or anything from LT Wright, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about him and his company and his knife designs. Hope the video was entertaining, if nothing else. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.